this campaign was not for a small group, it was for the 500,000. So it still needs to be for the 500,000. But the fact that AZ has made it available tells us it's not dangerous, it does work. There are clinicians that want to um, prescribe it and there are patients that want to take it. So it's unfathomable really as to why the government wouldn't buy it and provide it. And if it is a cost argument, then it needs to be a balanced argument and it needs to be balanced against the cost of the risk of any one of these individuals this winter being in hospital. And if they are in hospital, then it will cost, I think the numbers are, if they are in hospital, but not on a ventilator, uh, it's 2,043 pounds on average per day. Well, you only need one day in hospital to justify giving them Evershield. 